And your long-term play is Naomi number five. Naomi number five. Now, I expect to get some heat for this because, yeah, it's not going above cover price and it's the very first Naomi book not to. But as we talked about earlier, new powers, new costume. We know this character is going somewhere. We don't get nowhere. We know that the mythos is tied to Superman, which makes it pretty big. There seems to be a kind of Superman parallel. We know, again, if you watch the hot cold list, Mel V talked about it. His hot pick was diversity in comics. Um, I think comics have done a good job of moving away from the forced diversity that we saw a couple of years ago into some more organic diversity. I think Brian Michael Bendis does this as well as anyone out there. Um, and a little personal um, thing on Brian Michael Bendis is actually, I'm pretty sure he has actually adopted kids of a different race. So he, he is a guy who lives um, race relations and... Um, the importance of inclusion and representation. So um, I really believe in this Naomi series. I am I have been bullish on this Naomi series. You've heard me talk about Naomi number one. You've heard me talk about the second print. Um, and now I'm here talking about this Naomi number five because I think it's going to be the issue that gets forgotten about. Issue number one, issue number two, issue number three, issue number four, they all went above cover price. Because of that, everyone saw issue number five coming. Everybody and their mother went up on copies, including me. But I am not feeling bad about my copies because, again, I think Naomi 1 through 6 as a set is going to be an absolute, you know, uh, a, a kind of key set to sell. I think you're going to be able to do well with it. I think that as we look into the future, if Naomi becomes uh, the key focal point of the DC universe or a key focal point of the DC universe, the way that it's looking like and the way DC seems to be marketing her, then this issue number five, where she gets her powers, where she gets her costume, is going to be important. Um, do I think it's going to be a $50 book? No. Do I think it has a very good, strong possibility of being a $10 to $15 book? Absolutely. The only reason it's not there already is just supply. But I don't know too many people who are going to the store and leaving that book on the shelf. So while stores may still have it on the shelf, I don't expect that to last forever. I imagine in the next two to three weeks, you're going to see that book sell out and you're going to see that book start creeping up. But either way, it's important to note that this section is the long-term hold section. We've been advocating on this show for a long time, the, the need for speculators to move away from being so quick flip oriented and start looking ahead and start, and that's where the true profit is going to come. You have opportunities with this book. I'm seeing retailers um, mark this book a little bit below cover price. I'm seeing, even though the book's already out, I'm still seeing 375, 350 for listings. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I, I think that this is a book long term that's going to do well. I think it's a book that you may want to get ahead of and grab a 9 8. Uh, get a slabbed copy. Holler at Nick from Slabbed Heroes. You won't find them cheaper unless you want to slab them yourself. Um, so that is something to keep an eye on. And I am real bullish on this Naomi series. Um, I will take all the hate that comes with it because the reality is when Naomi number one came out, we talked about it, we believed in it, and we were right. And uh, I, I really believe that this is the way that the market is going to continue to move. And I think that there's only positive things in the future for Naomi. We still haven't seen – there's so many other um, – this is just reader buzz. This is popularity off reader and speculation buzz. And we still haven't seen this character cross over into, say, a Justice League comic, which would pop the character a little higher. We still haven't seen the character show up on a TV show or movie, which would explode the character. So there's still so much that's going to happen. And just like we talked about with Marvel paying attention to new agents of Atlas, don't think for one second DC isn't paying attention to what's happening with Naomi. Don't think they're not paying attention to what happened with Into the Spider-Verse. And I absolutely think that there's going to be a parallel there. And I know it's a very loose racial comparison to say, well, Naomi is the DC Miles Morales. But I think she allows DC to play it to that market. And I, and I think that um, that young, urban, um, and just, just really a young, youthful, energetic market who wants to see something new, wants to see something different. So I know some of my old heads, they're not down with Naomi. That's fine. It might not have been created for them. Wonder Comics is skewed young, younger. But uh, I am bullish on, on Naomi. I think it's going to continue to rise. And I think the fact that Naomi number five didn't jump out of the gates yet is such an important issue, gives us as speculators an opportunity. It's a buying opportunity and one that we should probably jump on and not wait to jump on. Right. One thing I wish that DC wouldn't 
would stop doing is their job, right? <laughs> as far as the solicits, man. Yeah. Every issue you're like expecting more because they keep telling you like secrets are revealed. You gonna find out who she is and where she comes from and blah blah. It's like, all right, man, number five, we're going to get there because number four, I thought we were, but we didn't. Right. So number five, definitely. And then you're just like, okay, maybe next time we're going to get it. <laughs> but yeah. Well, it, it's funny because a couple of years ago, we used to be really good at predicting first appearances based on solicits. I know all of us in CBSI, we'd sit and talk about a solicit. We'd chop it up. And I, a lot of times we were dead right on predictions, yeah. um, but it, it's gotten tougher and tougher. These uh, creators have figured out that if they tease you a little bit, speculators will jump on board and order 20, 30 copies. And then they give you half of what you expect so that you got to come back next week for more. And that's what they did here with Naomi. Because the reality is, as important as number five is, number six is going to be just as important. And I'm probably going to be here talking about that book. <laughs>